back to the program. You're watching Morning Thailand with Phi and Golf. Now, moving on to the weather condition at this point. It seems like, despite the fact that Haiyan, the tropical uh, typhoon, mm -hmm. actually becomes quite, I would say, harsh on a lot of countries around us. We are seeing just a little bit of it. I could say a tail of it. Yeah. However, at this point, the meteorological department has come out and warned a lot of people in the central part of Thailand to brace for more heavy rain, especially during the next two days. So on the 15th to the 17th, um, you will probably see a little bit of the uh, side effect from this mm -hmm. particular typhoon Haiyan. Now they say that the central uh, provinces that should especially be looking out for this heavy rain is uh, or are uh, Ratburi, Kanchanaburi, Petburi, as well as Prattuap Kirikan. So if you're in those areas, you've probably seen a little bit of, a, of it already because we have talked about the Prattuap Kirikan province before, especially in Hua Hin district, the most, um, I would say, famous tourist destination of that particular province. Um, there has been quite a bit of a flood already. And they say that if you want to go out at sea, especially in the Taipei area, um, be very, very careful. The waves could be as high as two to three meter. And apart from that, interestingly enough, um, there are also another um, incident that the Prime Minister Kun Ying Lakshinawat has mentioned about um, she has sent her condolences to all the victims of the Philippines that mm -hmm. has been um, victimized by this um, high-end typhoon. However, she also expressed her condolences and said that uh, to help out our neighbors, uh, what the government will do, especially for tonight at 8.30 yes. onward, there will be a, a program destinated especially to help the victims of the Haiyan's um, typhoon in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. So this will be on Channel 7. Um, this will be held by the uh, Public Relations Department. And she said that, the Prime Minister said that at this point, Thailand has already sent in a few numbers of donations, mm -hmm. um, as well as doctors and nurses to help out the situation in the Philippines. But another incident that will happen tonight, if you would like to um, express your I guess, um, condolences and help out a little mm -hmm. bit um, for the victims of the Philippines, you can call into um, Channel 11 um, tonight at 8.30. It will be a program accepting all the charities and such. Yes. So this will be one of the ways that you can help out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One of the good campaign because I heard that the super typhoon Haiyan had killed more than 10,000 people mm -hmm. in the Philippines yeah. only on weekends alone. Now, moving on to one of the big topics today, the nationwide strike or the Pacho strike mm -hmm. as, uh, what can I say, not order. Requested. Requested, <laughs> yes, of course, from Kun Suteb Tiosuban, the former Democrat MP who already, already the Food, um, food steam leader yeah. of the Democrat rally against the government. So people are still expecting how many people would join in the gathering. Colleagues are talking to friends whether you're going to yeah, drop off from work mm -hmm. and join the gathering or not. However, um, one of the sector of the society that said they would not join the rally is the education ministry that said that all schools in Bangkok and also in uh, upcountry would not close today. Well, that's the thing. Didn't like yesterday? There was a little bit of misunderstanding because yes, of course. At first, three universities mm -hmm. said that yes, they will join this particular strike, yeah. and then later on, just came out and said yeah. No. There were reports on the social media. That's mm -hmm. what we saw when where we saw it, ah, right? Social that media. University, Silapakon University, and uh, Sinakarin Road University mm. would close. Uh, would cancel all their classes so that individuals, teachers, and students could join the gathering. However, uh, later in the evening, there were a press release, the announcement from mm -hmm. the university's rector, dean, and president themselves saying that this, they would not uh, completely or officially close the school mm -hmm. to let people join the demonstration. The classes will go on as usual. However, it's the, the rights of the individuals or staff of the universities if they want to 
join the demonstration, right. Right, right? The Democrat Party, and with this particular issue, Kun Chai Turon Chai Sang, the Education Minister yesterday said that the school, um, the Office of Basic Education Commission, was not interested in following Kun Su Tae's civil disobedience call. Yeah, that's a word. That I'm trying to come up with civil disobedience. Yeah, civil disobedience call, <laughs> and uh, they said that it wasn't rational. He said that the closure of the school was based entirely on the school director's decision over basic problems such as traffic issues or the flooding. And yesterday, Jula Longgon University's demonstration elementary and secondary school announced that they would be closed on Tuesday alone due to traffic congestion caused by the ongoing protests. Mm -hmm. And Rajawinit Pratom Satri Vithaya, Wadbawani Ved and Matayom Wadmagut Gasat School announced that they would be closed on Tuesday and today, Wednesday, mm -hmm. over fears that rallies would escalate and students' travel will be um, inconvenienced. Mm -hmm. Now, several school directors have said that the lessons might be extended by 10 minutes per class in order to compensate for that particular lost time. And with the Sinakarin Wiro, Silapagon, Rangsit University, and they said that if any individuals would join the gathering, it's their democratic rights. Yesterday, there were voices from the Rural Doctor Society as well saying that they would not join the three day uh, strike. Mm -hmm because that the medical workers need to treat people round the clock. That's according to the society's chief, Kun Green Sak Wachara Nukun Kiet. However, the society that earlier has come out and already expressing uh, support with the people's rally against mm -hmm. the amnesty bill, saying that they would still continue taking action against the controversial amnesty bill. Yesterday, there were reports from the private sector as well. We see Kun Tan mm. the owner of Oishi uh, Beverages Group, mm -hmm. saying that uh, they would not follow Kun Sutheb's uh, call. Yeah, I, I heard that he got quite a bit of opposition from a lot of um, people as well mm -hmm. that came out in the social media, say, upsetting with what yeah. he has come out and say that he would not join. Which is, that's one of the things. If, if you are going to express yourself, I think um, the mm -hmm. most important thing is that you have to accept other people's opinion as well. Yes, if they course. decided not to join, that mm -hmm. doesn't mean that you know it's something bad. It just means that you they don't share whatever you are believing in. Mm -hmm. and Thai Airways, Kun Gaf, mm -hmm. they let their uh, officers, their employees and their staff to join the gathering as they wish. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's, it, I think it all depends at this point. And, yeah. you know, if you're going to protest for something in terms of principle, then in terms of democracy, you have to let mm -hmm. other people do as they wish as well, if it is their rights. Um, I was watching right. Kun Su Tebs on television that day mm -hmm. that, that he was calling for the, partial, the nationwide strike. And I was thinking whether should I take this opportunity to just... <laughs> To not come in today, that's okay, because the <laughs> gathering is not happening now. Sorry, Kun Fai. Kun Fai cannot leave. All right, moving on to another case. Um, of course, Kun Fai, despite the fact that the ICJ has already ruled mm -hmm. about the privy here dispute, it just seems, well, I can't say privy here dispute. It's more like the area around privy here. Of course, the vicinity. Is actually, exactly. But at this point, it seems like the interpretation of the ruling on mm -hmm. the verdict itself is quite mixed and it's created quite a little bit of a stir for, um, I don't think Cambodian is that bad. Like uh, they are quite okay yeah. and widely accepted. However, in, in Thailand here, it seems like there's a lot of mixed understanding, mm -hmm. I would say, um, not missed, but mixed because uh, some people interpret it different ways. So let's hear this one. But one of the things that's actually good that came out yesterday was that the key military figures of both Thai and Cambodia actually mm -hmm. sat down together yesterday yeah. having lunch, which is, um, I guess, showing a good sign that there's not going to be any fighting or um, firing of weapons and such. But at this point, it seems like the area around the border, the disputed area itself, they are quite okay with it. Um, everything yes. is nice and calm. It's just more like um, in terms of nationwide discussion that it seems to be heated. Mm -hmm. Now, as you can see in the picture there yesterday at about 10.30 p.m. in the morning, there were a lot of uh, 
key figures, the Region 2 military key figures that went around the area of the Priyavihir Temple, um, especially in the Kiri um, Sawara Temple, mm -hmm. which is right in the area of the disputed area, the 4.6 kilometer disputed area, and met with uh, key figures of the Cambodian military as well. Now, they all try to talk together after the verdict. And of course, they has already um, talked about the fact that the military will remain where they are and is probably waiting for the government to resolve this particular case. But overall, uh, everything seems to be nicely peaceful and smooth and everybody mm -hmm. just talk and move you know, move on with their lives as usual. So at this point, um, in terms of military, I would say is quite all right because we already have um, our foreign minister, Kun Surapong Towichak Chai Kun, has proposed prior to the verdict itself what they call the um, Cambodia Joint Border Committee mm -hmm. with Thailand. And, you know, to work together in terms of trying to find a solution to this particular case because what we both want, which is the same thing, peace mm -hmm. within the area. Yes. And the thing is, at this point, yesterday, Prime Minister Ying Lak Shinawat also talked about this, say, requesting that Thai people work together and um, trying to understand this particular case and try to resolve it in a peaceful way. But like I said, there are a lot of mixed understandings. So they say that today, Kun Wira Chai Prasai, the um, ambas ambassador mm -hmm. at The Hague, um, the Netherlands, um, Thailand amb Thai ambassadors at The Hague, will join the cabinet meeting today and wow. also giving the actual verdicts or the mm -hmm. summary of the verdict itself, trying to clarify it for all the MPs. Now, of course, um, the entourage that went to the um, ICJ's hearing yesterday uh, came back already at 2 p.m., including to uh, the Foreign Minister Kun Surapong Tovichak Chai Kun, as well as the Deputy Minister of the Defense Ministry, Kun uh, General Yutasak Prasasi Prapa, who also came back yesterday as well. Mm -hmm. So at this point, it seems like a lot of um, clarification is needed, mm -hmm. especially um, when there's academic that different, I would say different, um, not faction, but different um, side of the stories were given by different academics. Yes. For example, um, the uh, academic from Jhulalongkorn University yesterday got together and pretty much discussed about this particular case. They say that Jhulalongkorn University has already has a group of academic work together on this particular case, trying to interpret the verdicts itself. Um, and the one of the professor that belongs to the law uh, department, Kun Chum Pon, Pat Ju Sa Non, also talk about this and say that the whole thing is not that we lost or they lost, but it's more like the interpretation of the area around there or what they call is uh, promontory. Mm -hmm. That still needs to be discussed, which once again raised uh, a concern from Kun Apisit Wechachi, the opposition party leader, mm -hmm. saying that, well, four things that we need to look at is that the government right now needs to tell the truth. Mm -hmm. And of course, that's a version of the truth, depending on what you're saying. <laughs> and um, the way that react to the verdict has to be very, very careful because we don't want a long-term um, dispute with the world court itself. And the third one was that um, everything has to be done transparently. So that's um, one of the few requests that mm -hmm. Puna Pisit has came up of with. Course. Right. There was still an uh, announcement from the mm -hmm. 40 senators group as right. well pressing for this particular issue. If, if anyone wants to hear more of the clarification, mm -hmm. the ambassador, Kun Virachai Palasai, will be one of the guest speakers at Jhulalongkorn University. Mm -hmm. They will hold a seminar on the clarification of the ICJ's verdict as well this Friday morning. Mm -hmm. so, uh, now, before going for a short break here, there was an an update mm -hmm. from the DSI Department of Special Investigation saying that they are going to press charges against Kun Suthep Suban and also eight other MC MPs Why? who are just resigning from that MP Because post. they resigned? They cannot? No, Ooh. not because they resigned. Um, because they said that this 
nine MPs had spoken on the rally stage and saying that they had violated the 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 law. Okay. By inciting civil disobedience and also treason arising oh. from the rally against the amnesty bill and what they said on Tuesday, calling for people to stop working, to uh, stop paying taxes. Right, that's true. That was one of the requests. Kun Pong Noparit, the Pue Thai deputy spokesperson, saying that all of that was the violation of the regulation. So they had lodged a complaint with the DSI, the Law Enforcement mm -hmm. Agency. Uh, this move followed the formal resignation of the nine Democrats MP from the House of Representatives who already lost their immunity from the arrest when Parliament is in session because if they're still in MP position, any, mm -hmm. uh, any legal action could not be taken right. at this particular time. So yeah. after, soon after or right after they resigned from the MP post yesterday, the Pue Thai Party has already lodged a complaint and Kun Tarit painted the DSI uh, chief said that they will look into this particular issue and also the financial lifeline of the Democrat-led campaign against the amnesty bill because the Pue Thai Party wants DSI to look into where that money came from. All right. Well, we probably have a lot to update. And of course, we're going to take a short break. Mm -hmm. But when we come back, I'm going to give you a little bit more details in terms of all the... Of course. MPs that decided to officially resign yesterday and of course um, more on the demonstration updates so please stay tuned.